Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks Diecast Restoration. So this project, we got our Saturday Resto here on the turntable, and this is an oldie. And this is, let me see if we can get it out, the Service Ambulance Ford 3-Ton 4x4. So this one here, it's like the one I did last week, kind of, got the tab, and uh definitely in really bad shape so uh i'm gonna break out the manual and see what color it has to be and the year it was made and all that other stuff so stick around all right so let's see what we have to do to this service ambulance all right let's open up our encyclopedia here and we come right over here and there it is. Okay, let me see if I can fix the light here. There we go. So it looks like it's all of drab. And we got to do the front bumper and the headlights. That's it. No grill or nothing. And there's the Red Cross sticker, which I got right here. We got that ready to go. Now let's come over to the back and see when it was made. Let me see here. 63. Uh, let me see here. There it is right there. The Ford Service Ambulance issued 1959. Olive green body, black plastic wheels. So... Good old Charlie Mack, I was pulling through. I'd say I love this uh book. It's gonna come in handy. So alright. So let's get this thing looking good. Stick around. Alright, so uh I've decided to take off the axles because they are really, really rusted. So I'm going to do that really quick. And then I'm going to pop off the base. Here we go. I'm going to probably dump these in some WD-40 so we can uh, so we can unfreeze the axles. Okay. And they do have to be soaked because looks like somebody tried to paint them with something or another. Now, this is always the tricky part, trying to separate the base. So I've got this little jobby here. And in theory, it should just pop right out. Uh-oh. I just broke it. That is not good, folks. So it looks like now I got to JB weld it and sand it. And I just, I just created more work for me. I thought it was going to pop right out. So. I guess what do you want for something that's so old, right? Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is, folks. No editing here. That's the real deal there. Stuff does happen. 
So I'll just JB weld that and it should be good to go. All right, so nothing I love more doing than creating work for myself. All right, so uh, stick around. Fun times to come. All right, so here's what we've got. My broken base. And you know, not to sound weird or anything, but I'm kind of glad it happened. It's always good practice when things break. So anyway, you got to maintain a good attitude, right? Nothing you can do about it. Here's the body. And here's my wheels. Soaking in braking fluid. Brake fluid, braking fluid. I guess the same thing. It does break. So anyway, so uh, the axles were so rusted that I put WD-40 on them. And then I had to hold the axle with some pliers and just twist the tires off. So I'm not worried about it. This thing is going to look brand spanking new when I'm done. All right, stick around. All right, so uh, the tires have been soaking in brake fluid for a while, and I got all the paint off, uh, except there is some residue. This is not paint. I'm not too sure what it is, but I'm going to have to paint the tires after all. So that's all right. You know, it's a pretty old unit, so I don't expect these to be in that great a shape, but they will be when I'm done. All right, stick around. All right, here's a little Ford service ambulance. Definitely looks better than before. I can't wait to put a coat of primer on it to show all this cool detail. And I did fix the bottom. And one cool thing about this is I did a seam of super glue. And then on the inside where you won't be able to see it, I put the extra baking soda and glue combination that'll be hidden so nobody will see it so there you have it all right and uh, next stop clean them up in some solvent stick around all right let's take a look at this little service ambulance getting ready to put a coat of paint on it let's see if it's going to focus there we go cool detail and then, where's the base that I fixed? Right here. All right. So, put a coat of paint on it and see what I've got. Stay tuned. All right. Before we take a look at the final reveal, let's see what I started with. Uh, obviously, a really worn out service ambulance that needs a facelift. So, let's see where I ended up. All right, it is time for the reveal for my Ford service ambulance. So, uh, definitely came out good, a lot better than before. So, this one got a complete overhaul, including new axles. Uh, I primered the tires and painted them a gloss black. Did the front headlights and bumper according to the specifications. Got the decals from Black Square Decals. And uh, the olive actually was pretty easy to mix. Um, I didn't use olive drab because that's a different color. So I did, I think it was one part yellow to three parts blue. It, it's a one to three. And then you add a, a touch of red for the hue. Just a little bit of red. So anyway, it took a lot of trial and error. So there it is. Ford Service Ambulance. So let's see what's on the docket for next week. So next week we've got a, another classic. We got the cement truck. So this is already taken apart for some reason. I don't know what happened to it, but this is the number, looks like 51. Albion Chieftain, well, it's a cement truck. So, I definitely feel sorry for the poor old fools that had to load this truck by hand. That's a lot of bags of cement. So, I got the decals for it. So, that'll be on the docket for next week. The only problem I see on this one is going to be trimming out 
between the bags and the body. But anyway, all right, let's get the old ambulance back on the roundabout for a final spin. So as it's going around, I want to thank you for watching. I'm really loving these restos on Saturday night. And I just kind of like the challenge of trying to get the paints going and and everything. I think I'm getting better with the paints. But anyway, so thanks for watching. Stay safe. And I'll catch you on the next video. That's all, folks.